So how are you? I'm good. I'm good. Sure. Congrats on um, getting a job and uh, it's pretty interesting. So why don't you tell us a little bit about who you are and what you do? Uh, how did you start your career in digital? Okay. Uh, so uh, basically, I'm from Kerala. I did my middle management. Uh, from Manipur. Similar, huh? Uh, 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 a lot of people now are taking hotel management and this. Then then you yeah. Uh, because, yeah, in India, prospects are minimal for hotel management. Starting salary is also very less. So, after a year in two hotels, uh, I decided to do an MBA. So, so you were practicing one year in our hotel? I was with Hyatt Hotels. So Hyatt? Hyatt World. In uh, which area? Um, Hyatt in uh, Kachiburi. Okay, so which which area? Is oh, I was in front office. Front office. Yeah. Good, lucky. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it was, uh, it was scary, so I didn't want to take it up. So yeah, after a year in hotels, I uh, decided to do MBA. So uh, did my post graduation from Time School of Marketing. Okay. Was, uh, from New Delhi. Okay. Time from India, the Beach School. Oh, nice. So yeah. Uh, after that, uh, I came to Bangalore, got a job. When was this? Well, it was in 2000. Uh, Seven eight. Seven eight. So seven eight was the, my ad stint, and eight nine was my uh, marketing. Marketing. Okay, that's very good. And uh, then I got a job with Genpak in Bangalore. Uh, there uh, again it was basically into media monitoring. So um, we had to go through all the social media profiles as well as uh, newspapers and print as well as online articles. Okay, very good. So we started off. Yeah, so I love into an analyzing what people were talking about. Uh, it was basically online reputation management. Uh, so you get to know what people talk about a particular brand, whether it's positive or negative. And if it is negative, we need to alert the company, and then they land on it. So it was a uh, good job, but uh, it was getting pretty uh, mundane uh, going through it. So I wanted to get into the marketing side of it. So uh, I got an opportunity from Odikma um, in Bangalore. So how long you were there for? Then? Genpak, I was there for a year. Okay. And then I did a couple of internships uh, in the advertising sector. And uh, after the internship, I got a job with uh, Odikma. Okay. So uh, Odikma was into basically uh, social media marketing and other digital marketing aspects. So uh, there it was, I was into client servicing. I understood the uh, client side of it, but I didn't have in-depth knowledge into what the digital marketing services were. So in order to upgrade my knowledge, I was browsing through various uh, portals and uh, finally, I mean, uh, wherever, whatever you type in Bangalore, Web Marketing Academy will pop up and that was the first choice. So, I so what I would, made you to decide to do the course or what, what made you do? Uh, think about the course? Because um, I want to um, see whenever you approach a client, until unless you have uh, total knowledge of the product you are talking about, you won't be able to upsell it. So uh, I knew smooth talking, but that doesn't take right. you uh, a lot. So you need to have uh, basic knowledge of what SEM is about, what SEO is about, what uh, social media portals are. So uh, practical knowledge I had, uh, but there was no. Uh, theory classes as such in India or right. I don't think it's there abroad also, I'm not sure. So in order to understand what the product is, I had to gain a uh, other perspective and that brought me to web marketing. Yeah. Very good. So how was your experience doing the, the course? Uh, it was uh, really good uh, in terms of uh, uh, the time you guys uh, spend out here because you are open anytime it's very flexible schedule anytime i want i can come in. Uh, i can learn about it plus uh, it is uh, not a classroom model it was basically uh, one to one we were in a group of three right. and we were from diverse backgrounds so uh, it's good to know uh, others other perspective right. it's basically crowdsourcing of ideas even some ideas they bring into the table and then the discussion travels that way. And there's no uh, strict digital media uh, syllabus as such right. because it keeps changing every time. So whatever is in the current, uh, uh, current whatever is trending currently, I got to understand the world. Uh, so are you confident and 
you got in your objectives and goals fulfilled? Yes, uh, uh, actually, uh, you kept drilling into my head that whatever campaign you start, first should be the business objective, then should be the goals, <laughs> and then should be the KPI. So, <laughs> and actually, it helps a lot in uh, organizing your work. Nice. So, yeah, it, it does help. And plus, with the knowledge, it boosts your confidence and uh, I got several interview opportunities and uh, uh, I mean wherever I go, uh, it really helps you in terms of explaining what you are actually doing. Very nice. Very nice. So what would you like to say okay. to people who want to get into this field? What is according to your, you've been in the industry for almost four years and then you did the course as well. Okay. What are some advice or tips you would be giving to the people who are either uh, starting up the course or who want to join the industry? It's, it's actually a, it's a dynamic field. So you should be ready for change. Right. Uh, whatever is uh, happening today may not happen tomorrow. So uh, that way it's quite challenging as well because uh, uh, your work will not be mundane. Every day it's a new thing. Uh, right. Facebook will come with a new product, Twitter will have another acquisition. Uh, the SEO uh, of page right. uh, algorithm changes. Uh, uh, whatever you do today as off page activities, tomorrow it will be grey hat, and right. day after tomorrow it will be black hat. So uh, it's it's actually very difficult to uh, uh, what do you say? Keep pace with the industry, but because we have, uh, I mean, you also refer to a lot of industry leaders like Matt. And uh, Vinash Kaushik and all that. So, because of that, uh, uh, we get to understand what is uh, trending in the current industry. Very good. So, uh, you've got a uh, different kind of job now. Are you excited? Yes, I am very much excited. Yeah. It's a new face to be very nice. Uh, so, uh, we are also happy to you know, have you part of WMA, and you know, this is just the beginning. And whatever we are, we are going to practice, and whatever you are going to implement, that is where, as always, we support you, and we are, you know, like family and friends. So uh, we are happy. So, is there anything else you want to share? Um, that's about it. I want to give my gratitude to you, Suresh. Thank you, so thank you, thank you so much. We are humble. <laughs> <laughs> so I got to learn a lot of things out here, and you are open to suggestions. You are actually guiding us throughout the journey. I even made my own website, so that's a totally new experience. I mean, I got, I mean, I got an opportunity to create a website for my brother. He was into advertising. Oh, really nice. so, yeah, yeah, that one. That was, the project that we worked on. Yeah, he was extremely happy also. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I never thought that I could create a website. Yeah, I never thought that it would be. Yeah, you thought. In my present company also, there is a whole sort of a whole set of people who actually design it, who a whole set of people who implement it. So uh, I never thought WordPress was so simple. So even though it has its own complexities, but it's relatively simple. Very nice. So congrats and uh, good luck. We will always be in touch. Thank Thanks you so much. Thank you.